Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, the sleep thing didn't work. <laughs> I got up at 2.30, I got up at 4.30, and then relatively I should have had like six, seven hours sleep, and I thought, yeah, this would be good. Laid back down at like quarter to five, five o'clock, and I was watching some Twitch on my tablet. Ended up waking up at about 7.30. So yeah, the whole sleep thing didn't work. I mean, now granted, I woke up probably an hour earlier than what I normally would, so <laughs> that's something, right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Just even doing the doing the BP run at the moment. Gotta get her some breakfast. Um she didn't want to have eggs this morning, so mum said just go to Macca's, get her a bacon egg, I'll eat the egg, she can have a little bit of bacon, she can have some of the muffin. He's keen though. He's keen. Yeah. So I've been up since like I don't know, quarter to six BP as. Because, I don't know, she's a... I don't understand kids' sleeping patterns. She's just weird. She went to bed at like 2 a.m. I reckon, and she was up at 7. I mean, then another day she'll she'll go to bed at like 10 p.m. and not wake up until 11 a.m. the next morning. I don't know. You're a weirdo! You're a weirdo! But, um... Melbourne Cup Day here today, uh, horse racing. If you're in America, it's like the equivalent of the Kentucky Derby. So, yeah, public holiday, tray wide at the moment. So it's so quiet, because it's about 8.30, and normally just there'd be cars everywhere and kids everywhere going to school, etc. So everybody got the day out today, and it's just ghost town, which is pretty cool, because I was able to go through Maccas with uh, any cars in front of me at the start of the morning, which was kind of nice. So, I'm not, I'm not a betting person at all. I'm not going to bet or anything like that. Mum might though. She has a, um, a betting account. She plays the horses every once in a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Might, might get a big win today. Get the trifecta. Pull in a million dollars. Yeah, mate. Uh, I'm going to go and take this little squirt home and, and yeah. Put a helmet on here, doofus. Doofus. Alright, I'll see you later. Chaja, you having fun? Look at you. You're just such a good artist. Look at this. Whoa! This is the new colouring book. <laughs> she just sits in the bath, empty bath, and just, yeah, has the biggest palette, a canvas palette. Oh, ceramic colour. Uh, yeah. Look at her. She just has such fun. Don't you, darling? Hey? The only problem we have is getting her out. Shasha! Shasha! And she knows now not to draw on herself. She draws on a closed door, but she doesn't draw on herself anymore, which is good. Yeah. She just scribbles, 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 scribbles. Wait. Oh, who coloured in her book? That's a bath book. I suppose it'll wipe off. Hey, Mima's talking to you. No. Tink. Did you just say Tink? Tink. Tink. That's Tink. Look, Tink. Say Tink. Oh, Tink just landed on your foot. Are you all right? Are you okay? Oh, she's a tough nut. Oh, that's really heavy. <laughs> How about we put Tink here? That might be a bit better, all right? Yeah, we put Tink there. Okay, I'll leave you to your colouring, okay? You're just too busy to talk to me. All right? Okay. What a nice afternoon tea. I know it's going to be stuffed today. <laughs> it was too early for dinner, but we were hungry. So it's like 4.30. Close enough. We're old people. <laughs> dinner at 4.30, asleep by 6. <laughs> no, not really. I had breakfast at like 4.30 this morning. Does that count? I had like 10 cups of coffee. That doesn't count. I have a feeling that that breakfast that I ate, though, it was at my dinner last night. Because I don't remember eating. I, I, I'm sorry, but I was so tired from the trip the other day. Yeah. 
I just, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is my first dinner at the table using the new china. The oh, new plates and stuff. Oh, is it? It's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've had a couple of breakfasts. Yeah, it's no a nice food. green. Yeah. This is probably be the last dinner that we have at the table. No, it won't. When do we eat the table anymore? Like, never. It's because you. Like, ah, I you were so oh, I've got to go pack and unpack and repack the same down time. I'll squeeze you. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> I think we should nah. mix Peppa Pig for a month. Yeah, you oh. do. Oh, I do get to have Nick. Yes. You get no Peppa. Seriously, Beepy, I love you to death. But this break that I get from you is going to be wonderful. I love you. You don't get a break though, because you're mummy. <laughs> you get a break in about 16 years time, when she goes to college. Oh shit, she's dropping out of school early and full time job for 14 years old and 10 months, so she... Screw high school, it's overrated. Well, there it is. That's the to-do list over the next couple of days. Most of that, this, but most of that there is like what, uh, which one is it? This one here is what I've packed, so don't worry about that list. That's sort of like a to-get list. There's a, a to-do list and to-do when I land list. So yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of big, is what she said. So there's a lot of things left to do. But yeah, we're mostly good. Finished did the preemptive, well not the preemptive, but the first pack of my bag. Just to, I said I was going to do the roll technique yesterday and I pretty much got it all sorted out. So I have a, yeah, I have a little bit of room left in the top there just for like another pair of um, jeans and a couple more t-shirts. But we're pretty much good to go, hey. Sorry for the break and the um, the little thing there, but yeah, I had the name tag around the other say the other way and you can see my full name. So yeah, I'm not going to share that one with you, sorry guys. <laughs> But yeah, I weighed it on the bathroom scales. I don't know how accurate they are. It came in at about um, 16.9 kilos, I think it said. Yeah, so I have a weight limit of 23 of that bag and 7 kilos of the other bag. So I'm going, I mean, I've packed heaps, but I'm going a little bit light because I know I'm going to buy stuff when I'm over there and I'm going to bring stuff back with me. So it's better to do it that way. And then if I do find that I really, really need something, um, I can just get it while I'm over there. So yeah, because I plan to buy like a couple of shirts and yeah, just I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe a pair of shoes or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, for the Canadians saying to oh come across the border and things like that, come and visit me. I won't be venturing into Canada, even though I'm at Niagara Falls and yeah, I can see your lovely country across the water. I won't be venturing into Canada this time around. I'll be staying in America for the for the time being. And, um, yeah, so, I think that's all I have to say. There was one more thing. Comment on the vlog over the last couple of days. I meant to, I keep, oh, I've just been so busy. I just keep getting to do so much stuff. <laughs> the whole sleep thing hasn't worked yet either. I mean, it's like 3 a.m. now. If I was doing things properly, this would be about the time I should be waking up, not going to bed, so... Uh, I'm going to have jet lag the first few days there. It's just unavoidable. I cannot switch my sleeping schedule because, yeah, every time... Because, uh, yeah, every time I try, it's just like something pops up and then something pops up and then freaking three hours later, I can finally go to sleep and then something else falls up. And it's like, help! Help! <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bed now. Granted, I'm only going to get like five hours sleep, so hopefully... That'll keep me tired enough. Let's, let's switch the sleep schedule tomorrow. Probably not. But yeah. Good night, ladies and gents. Only a handful of days left until I can travel. A world traveler. Seriously. It's so exciting. Anyway. You can probably tell how tired I am. <laughs> Good night, ladies. Good night, gentlemen. See you all tomorrow for another fantastic day of vlogging action. But yeah.